What's happening, all you stoners and stonettes out there in YouTube land? It's another beautiful spring day in Washington, D.C., and I am back to y'all with another beautiful review of some Apple Turnover by Abatten Wellness. Uh, let me give it a little shot here. This is some beautiful bud. Uh, I went to the dispensary last Friday, and the very first thing... I heard walking into uh, the counter, up to the counter, was how great the, the Apple turnover was. You know, that they, they were just looking at it. And there was another customer right beside me, and, and they were like, well, you know, how do you know? Because this particular bud tender uh, didn't have their medical card, so they sadly cannot take advantage of this Apple turnover. He was like, I do, I've been doing this for a while, so I can just look and I can tell. And so I'm like, okay, let's find out if he can actually look and tell if this is the real deal. And when I first got the bud, they put it out for you and, you know, they have the packaging turned over so you don't see the cannabinoid content the very first thing you see the bud. And I'm looking at that bud and it's some beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's this light green color with, with beautiful orange hairs in it, but then there's purple hues once you break it up inside. Um, the, the trichome production, they're just falling off the bud in your hand and you gotta, you know, get them all back into the into the bowl because you don't want to waste them or anything like that it's nice and sticky you know i uh i can't be too sure about the genetics but uh it's said to be a hybrid on the menu um my guess would be there's some cherry pie some cookies uh in there uh maybe going back to durban poison because the thc content is not all that high on it it's about 15.9 percent is what it tested as uh, I usually do not buy things under 18%. That's what I found I usually like, even though, I, as I've been told and as I found out, the THC content and, and what the tests say are not necessarily everything. And this is specifically true with the Apple turnover. So I'm going to give this a little taste, and I'm going to let y'all know exactly what I think about this Apple turnover from a Bat & Wellness. Very sweet, very, very tasty. Yeah, the sweetness, the taste, you know, it, it reminds me of cookies and cherry pie and you know, all that stuff. The feeling is straight to the head. It's like, wow, it's some get up and go stuff. It's like you got chores to do, you know, you got stuff to take care of around the house. And it doesn't require much mental activity, but you just got to get up and get it done. You know, this is a stuff for you, for you right here. This is great for that. Uh, you just get like a burst of energy and, and, and you just want to get stuff done. It's not, I, I honestly do not see any Indica influence in this. Uh, the feeling and everything is really in your head. Uh, and it is invigorating. Um, there are some great pain reduction. After I took that first hit, pain in my lower back. You know, almost not noticing it. I'm going to take another and see if we can go away. So tasty. Such a good smell to this. This apple pie, apple turnover, I'm going to give five stars. Even though I'm not a sativa person... And the effects I get of this are definitely more than the sativa side. It's delicious. It's beautiful. It smells good. The effects are freaking perfect for a, a particular task. It's not good. I would not smoke this right before bed. Absolutely not. Not a good idea. Uh, but uh, for a wake and bake strain, get you going in the morning, you know, get you loose and relaxed and ready to take on the day. Perfect. The apple turnover, definitely, if you see it at your dispensary in Washington, D.C., Pick it up, and you will be doing the most important thing by smoking this five-star. I'm going to give this five stars, bud, and that is staying stoned.